Now, more of Illinois Rising, presented by the Illinois Policy Institute, the only show directly addressing the problems and solutions for Illinois. Now, from AM560, here's Dan Proft. Dan Prof back with Pat Hughes, co-founder of the Illinois Opportunity Project, IllinoisOpportunity.org, on this edition of Illinois Rising. And, Pat, uh, legislation that uh, you have opined upon in your capacity as a legal scholar of sorts, uh, the legislation sponsored by Democrat Senator Don Harmon, a uh, socialist from Oak Park, that's a nuclear-free zone, and uh, Sam McCann, who is a... Uh, enemy inside the perimeter of the Republican Party from uh, downstate Illinois, would require disclosure of political donations uh, uh, to 501c4, c5, c6, as this is IRS designation. Here, here's the bottom line. It's going after the quote-unquote dark money, the boogeyman that the left and other uh, weak-kneed Republicans like Sam McCann like to talk about. Uh, these are policy advocacy organizations that do not have to disclose their donors. Uh, the rationale behind that IRS designation, that protection, is so that really government doesn't go after people because of their donations in advance of a particular policy agenda. Uh, to senators in Illinois want to undo that. Why is that a bad idea? Oh, it's a terrible idea, Dan. Um, first of all, people should be allowed, and they are allowed under the First Amendment and their rights to freely associate, to um, contribute to causes that they believe in without some sort of reprisal or repercussion. And what Harmon and and McCann and the Sun-Times wrote a piece this week, well, they, the, the reason they call it Sinister Dark Money is because they want donors to these nonprofits disclosed so that they can go after them, so that they can intimidate them. So they can say, okay, th th this is this is a billionaire supported group, or this is a, a bunch of rich people supporting this candidate. Much like much like the American Legislative Exchange Council was targeted by Dick Durbin and others, they wanted to go after the corporations that donate to Alec to uh, essentially use the federal cudgel to mow mow them from supporting organizations that have a different policy viewpoint than do leftists like Dick Durbin or like Don Harmon or like Sam McCann. And also, we should mention Illinois Opportunity Project, which you co-founded, I'm also a part of, is a C4, just for the interest of full disclosure. It's one of the organizations that would be impacted by this legislation. But develop the history of this, too. You know, where did this start? Because sure. this, this is really, really important. We, we always look at things just in real time. How about a little historical context so people have a full understanding of the... Uh, the, the 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 rationale behind this protection yeah so it, it it was established in the 1950s dan in the segregated south specifically in alabama there was an naacp chapter there that was being of course supported privately because the naacp is a a non-profit and was then at the time and there was a law in the state where the people who were well let's just put a, a word to it racist wanted to out people white black or otherwise who were supporting the NAACP so they could intimidate them. And right. you know and you know that that's real intimidation, Dan. That's that Dick Durbin intimidation. I'm talking about segregated South, Bull Connor type intimidation. And the Supreme Court said, no, these people are allowed to affiliate with this organization so they can believe and support a cause without it being disclosed so their enemies can out them or terrorize them or anything else. And, and, and it's important, the history, because to this day it goes both ways. So this isn't Correct. some selective protection of free market or conservative-oriented policy organizations. This applies to... Uh, Sierra Club, MoveOn.org, uh, yeah, any pick pick an organization on the left that's a C3, a C4, C5, C6. They have the same protections so that if conservatives are in charge of the government, they don't use the government to go after people because of their political beliefs, like say the IRS did. Well, that's exactly right. And and the reason why Harmon or the Sun Times is so jonesed about this, Dan, is because they believe in the political power structure where the money all flows through the public sector unions and the trial lawyers into the pockets of John Collardon and Mike Madigan. And what the Illinois Opportunity Project and others who are in this space do is we compete on the battlefield of ideas against those groups. So what they want to do in, the, in our state, they feel that it's to their political advantage 
to put as much pressure on their competitors as possible. So what's going to happen in the wake of that? In the wake of that, there are going to be leftist groups that are going to have their donors disclosed too. But these folks have made a calculation that for their own political gain, they're willing to lose that so they can keep seeding more and more power into the unions, into Madigan, into Cullerton. It's a conscientious decision, and that's why it's so bad. And that's why they call it dark money. The reality of it is, Dan, no one who donates to the Illinois Opportunity Project, no one, donates for campaigns. They donate to support our cause. And then the Illinois Opportunity Project, to the extent we want to, we donate to candidates. And we're disclosed, and everybody wait, wait. knows what we're doing. And, and and donate to candidates within the bounds of the law. Totally, within the, the law. bounds of the so law. And it, it, it's, it's a small fraction of correct. what the Il- Illinois Opportunity Project does. And what any organization that's a C4 designation can do, you know, li- it's very limited in terms of politics as a percentage of your overall spend, your overall activity. Co- correct. And, and, and we don't, and, and other C4s, because you're not allowed to, we don't raise money for the purpose of politics. So our donors have nothing to do with that. And I suspect that Harmon and the Sun-Times know that that's true. So when they're talking about, well, we want there to be transparency, we want to make sure that a candidate isn't being unduly influenced by the donors. The candidate and the donors don't even know each other. The donor is the Illinois Opportunity Project or whatever C4 that's getting involved in that. And like you said, their small percentage of political activity. It's all pretext designed to attack the people who should have the right, just like the NAACP donors in, in, in the South in 1950s, should have the right to support a cause privately uh, without uh, fear of retribution or reprisal. Yeah, and the bottom line on this, in, in one sentence, the Supreme Court in Buckley v. Vallejo uh, upheld the notion that political donations is a form of speech. So what this is really attempting to do is chill freedom of speech, freedom of expression. That's the bottom line. 